Well, good morning, folks. This is Paulie from Biking Life. How are you all doing today? We've got a nice clear day uh, in what has been some of the most terrible rain that uh, I've seen for a long time. It's just been absolutely peening down. Um, what am I doing today? It's a uh, unplanned ride, this actually. Uh, Graham. Uh, my good friend from Chronicles of Dot has uh, got a new bike and he's actually riding over this neck of the woods so I thought I'll take it upon myself to go see it and see him as well because I haven't seen him for a long time so it will be actually nice to have a little catch up and see this new bike it's an NT 1100 Honda oh, we all like Hondas the one he had prior to that was a Honda Africa Twin, which I must admit I do like. I'm partial to uh, an adventure style bike, and uh, this NC700X has um, got the adventure style look. Well, it, um, by the time I'm finished with it, it will be of good spec because I do intend to upgrade the shocks, the rear spring and get some tin luggage on the back of it for touring and stuff like that and I'm also de-restricting it um, even though it's all right as it is there is a way to de-restrict it and give you that little bit more out of it so I shall be doing that too but I am making my way over to a place called Castleton ah this is lovely So dispatch that. I mean, anyone who's got any qualms about these bikes, well, come on. You can do everything you need to do. You know, you get sick of people slating this and slating that, saying, oh, I wouldn't have that, I wouldn't have this, and, you know, not just this bike, but any other bikes, but, you know, it's each to their own folk, so, you know, let's all be friends and let's not be uh, horrible to each other. There's enough of that in this world. Absolutely, there's enough crap going on without us adding to it. Won't be long though before I get uh, a couple of things for this bike. I've got to put rear pannier um, brackets on, uh, front crash guards, And uh, we're going to get some spotlights for it, and obviously the rear tins. Yeah, I'm debating on the top box, I don't know whether I want one. And if I do get one, I'll be getting one like my very good friend and brother, Solo Motor UK, Derek. He's got a very, very, um, how do I put it, it's, it's only that tall, it's not very tall at all. You wouldn't put an helmet in it, well you couldn't. But it's just for carrying a little bits of bobs. Now I don't mind them because they don't stick out like a bloody sore thumb. I went out the other day on uh, Tuesday, which was my birthday, folks, and uh, as usual it was pouring down. But I still go out on on my bike, and I went over the moors, went to uh, Beggars Bridge and uh, Sands End, Whitby, Whitby Abbey. A few other places, Filing, uh, Thorpe and what have you. I had a really, really good ride round, even though the weather wasn't playing ball. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I'm over at Castleton. We're not far away now from Castleton, just down this dip. Queer place to stop. Well, I love this view. This is actually one of my favourite views, as you all know. I've said in many videos. It's just green, isn't it? It's lovely and green with trees scattered here and there. The little house here and there. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'll have to... I'm going to actually go into Castleton and then ride up to the top of Castleton. I could go right here, but I'm not going to. Graham will be coming from Hutton the Old Way. 
which is a 12 mile this way. So according to this, this is uh, exactly 9 mile from uh, the Asda petrol station which we filled up at. So I'm going to actually meet Graham at the top of here. Wow, I've just been whacked in the face again. beautiful place. Some lovely valleys this way. Graham should be coming from that direction. I wonder where this route goes to. I'll have to go down it one day. This bike's capable of doing that. Just to see where it goes. Over there, just in the distance, you can see Danby Beacon. We've ridden up there. Looks like a a sandstone outcrop over there. Can you see it in the distance? Just nearly at the top of that hill. Anyway. We'll wait here patiently for Chronicles with Dot. When we go, where, where you're on about going, like? Sotland. Right, so uh, do you know your way from here anyway, don't you? Nope. Well, I'm roughly, roughly. Well, you, you can follow me anyway if you yeah. want. I Just know you go down through Castleton and there's a left turn. That goes yeah, and it takes you up through. that road there. Yeah, yeah. Then when we get to the top of that road there, uh, to the end of the road which takes you out on the main A171, we turn left where Lockwood Beck is. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And then we take a right up towards Lingdale Stangow. Yeah, but I'll, you can follow me. I, yeah. I'll only go steady away anyway. So here he's coming out now. Graham's with me, and we're gonna have a little ride over to Saltburn. And we're gonna go down here. Beautiful scene from here, actually. Yeah, he's. Uh, I always think, uh, you know, when you look at a bike on a video, they don't. You can never really tell until you see him in the flesh, if you know what I mean. They look completely and utterly different. quite nice for me to get out and we couldn't have picked a nicer day I mean I remember watching his video when he first picked that bike up and uh, it was dry at the start but then it uh, absolutely poured down on him bless him and he was soaked through to the skin but this is a much nicer day for him to ride it in like
got to watch out for these sheep on the road as well. A prime example. <laughs> prime example. I was just saying it one I and lo and behold, as I was saying it, one starts walking out in the middle of the road. Look at the view here though, you can see the sea over there. It's a nice commanding view this. So we're going to go down this road, there's Lockwood Beck. We're going to go down to the bottom of this road and turn left onto the A171 and then we're going to make a right turn just not long after that which takes us up to Stangout and Lingdale and we're going to make our way down to Solberg. Got me summer gear on again today. I mean it's not overly warm but I'll tell you what it's actually quite nice riding in this because I'm cool, really cool. Well, I'm just quite happy to actually be out on the bike and meeting up with an old friend I, I haven't seen for a long, long time and it's nice to actually meet him again. It's the first time I've ever seen a bus come down there. Is it? Yeah. They never ever come down there. You think he might have been lost? I think so, yeah. But then again, he's he's got to the right place where he's dropping them all off, so I don't know. It's the first time I've ever come in that way. Is it? Yeah, we normally used to go out that way. Yeah. Yeah. It's too tight inside. Be, yeah. yeah. It'd be the lining. I got them well and truly soaked. Yeah, but it shrunk them. Yeah. I have another pair, they're all leather. And they were doing that with my, my ends of my fingers were going to sleep. Yeah, yeah. So I actually took the lining out, right? Just so I can wear them for hot days. Yeah, yeah. And they're perfect now. But I couldn't wear them at all for must be a good six months. Oh, it was a nice little stop there for a, a coffee and a donut as well, which is nice. So we're, I'm going to make my way to Whitby with Graham, and I think Graham will then he'll go on to Scarborough and make his way on that way. But it's just a nice little short run out with uh, for me. dark clouds rolling in, I hope we don't get any rain. First sign of rain and I shall be heading back. I wouldn't care, I've just cleaned this bike again. <laughs> well when I went to the garage this morning and opened it up I thought, oh, Jesus Christ, because I, obviously I went out for a ride out on my birthday and it was pouring down and we went through a bit of mud and this, that and the other. And uh, the bike was in such a mess 
But then, I mean, I don't get bikes just to sit in garages. I get bikes to ride them, as you all know. I love this scene. This is one of my favourite roads, this. Well, when it dips down into uh, towards Staves, you can actually see Bulby Mine on the right-hand side and uh, the North Sea out over to your left. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful, that. to go through this footage when I get home because because this uh, but thing lasts for nine hours I tend to forget to charge it the uh, last few times I've been out I've never actually took anything off it and uh, I, I need to start having a look at what uh, video footage I've got uh, on it hopefully I'll make a vlog from this one if not I'll keep it on the back burner but uh, all in all it's absolutely been an absolute pleasant uh, pleasant day seen uh, Graham for the first time in a, a, a good while and you should go check his channel out Chronicles with Dot uh, Dot was his actually his Africa twin that he used to have uh, the bike before the one he's got now it's a nice little road takes you down through Lyth uh, and the bank itself down into Sands End and then on towards Whitby. Especially nice on a day like this, but you do have to watch uh, on a very a video a very long time ago. There was a, a, a van or a car that pulled out one of these edge backs. You've got to be very careful of that. One of the uh, things I'm going to have to get fitted on this bike is heated grips because it's coming up the winter time and I know I'm going to need them. Absolutely going to need them. And just look at that view, eh? That's a view, that. There was a little bit of a viaduct that used to go over here to the train station. Used to go up the top of that woodland bit there. Because if you look there, this here is the actual railway station. That's the old station house. And it used to go across here and over there. There's a toilet there if you need one. So I thought we'll stop here. You can, if you want to go to the toilet, go to the toilet. Then we'll head on. Hey? You can't go down that way, and it just brings you around in a circle. So you can go out that way, yes. So you can just park there if you want.
Hey? All right then. You take care. Bye. Well, that was that. A nice little ride out with Graham. Had a nice steady little ride back now. Got to go home and cut my lawn. Well, as I said to you, it's been a really nice ride out. So I'm going to say bye for now, folks. And uh, I shall see you on the next one. Bye for now, folks. Bye.